see lots of different uh, devices here that are actually already commercial or all on the way to being commercial this year. If you joined us last year in our connected home, those were powered by a lot of prototypes. This year, they're commercial devices. So take a look at the blue fact tags that are on the devices. Those are the ones that are being connected in the demo. Okay? Uh, and then in that corner uh, is the connected lighting, home networking, and mobile health use case with Brian. Uh, Brian Vogel saying. With, uh, with Qualcomm Connected Experiences. And what I'm going to show you here is, as Kiko mentioned, how devices from different manufacturers can be interoperable with each other using an open source technology called AllJoin. So AllJoin is a, um, a part uh, technology from the AllScene Alliance, of which Qualcomm is a member. And uh, here I have probably 13 different devices from 12 different manufacturers. All those devices are interoperable using AllJoin. And so I'm going to demonstrate that, that for you today. Uh, so just to point out a few of the devices, over here we have a, uh, an all-play powered speaker from Lenko. We have another one here from Panasonic. We have a third one here from, uh, from Medion. And what these speakers will do is they'll allow devices that don't have displays to talk to the end consumer. You, they can find the, the speakers and they can communicate through speaking uh, through them. Then we have some light bulbs here. We have two in these um, two lamps. These are from LifeX. They're uh, Wi-Fi uh, LED multicolor light bulbs, and uh, and those will be incorporated in the demonstration. And then we have a router here from Netgear. This is a, uh, a Qualcomm-powered um, uh, router that uh, the, the application processor in is Qualcomm's, um, and it also includes some software from Qualcomm called StreamBoost, which we'll talk a little bit more about, that'll enable some all-join-based use cases here. Then uh, over here, I apologize. I've got some. Um, I've got some devices for uh, some medical devices. One is a pulse oximeter, and the other one is a smart uh, pill box for medication. Then I have a couple of mobile applications that are also all joint enabled. One is called Higgins. It's the uh, it's the home automation application. There's a little card here if you'd like to get more information on Higgins. This is when you see automation happening. It's this mobile application that's actually enabling that all to happen using all join. And then we have our TuneNet mobile application, which is um, going to connect, securely connect these, uh, these uh, medical devices up to their, the ph physicians in the cloud and it, uh, be able to transmit that data back securely to your medical provider. And then over here we have uh, a, uh, a Legrand smart w uh, uh, switch. So this is a, a, a color wheel. That can be from Legrand that can be used to control lighting in the environment, and then lastly we have a LG t television, which is all join enabled, that can display all join notifications, as well as an LG smartwatch, which can also display all join notifications. So the first demonstration I'm going to show you here is actually with a color wheel. So this color wheel is Wi-Fi based. It's from Legrand, and Legrand have integrated the all join lighting service such that. It is now compatible with any all join enabled light bulb. We happen to have two uh, all join enabled light bulbs here from LifeX. So if someone could please twist that dial slowly. Um, if one of you guys, yeah, just twist the dial slowly. And then we look at the lights here. What you see is the lights hue is changing. So you can also change the brightness by pushing the buttons, um, change the saturation by putting the, pushing the buttons. If you press the middle of it, it'll turn it off and turn it on. So. You have full control of these smart light bulbs, not just from a mobile application, but also from other um, devices in the house, like a Legrand light switch. So, um, so this allow. It's important to note that Legrand and LifeX did not have to work together to enable this experience. They simply implemented all join. Both of their devices are on the same Wi-Fi. They're both on this Wi-Fi network. They can discover each other, and they can connect with each other and communicate peer-to-peer. -peer. So there's no other automation gateway or anything in between those devices. They're communicating directly with each other. Um, so this next I'm going to show you how uh, other devices in the house can use the speakers and the televisions and the lights to communicate information to you. So here we, I mentioned we have StreamBoost running on this particular device. StreamBoost is a uh, piece of software from Qualcomm that um, router manufacturers can put in their devices so the devices become more intelligent and it's all the StreamBoost is all joint enabled. So what StreamBoost does is it can look at traffic on the network at the application layer and understand actually what's being run over the network. So it knows if you're running YouTube, it knows if you're running Netflix, and you can give priority to certain services over others. But it also knows, it, keep, it monitors, it keeps track of all your connectivity. So it knows when your backhaul, when your internet connection is up or down. In this case, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna unplug the network and you're gonna see uh, the rest of the environment react. So I unplug the network here, that network light goes out, and so then we'll see a, um, a reaction here. 
but outside of this. Yeah, so, so what you saw here was three things happen. You saw the, um, the lights flash, notifying me that the internet was down. You heard the speaker tell me that the internet was down. And then you saw a text message here. Now this, what happened was the Netgear router and StreamBoost sent out an all join event. That was received by the Higgins application. The Higgins application was then programmed. If it gets an internet is down um, message event from the router, then it's going to blink the lights, send a text message, and you can type in the Higgins app what text message you want to send, and then it can also speak a text message. It could also play a media sound file or what have you. And, do, and, and you can program which speakers you want to play it over. We programmed it over the media, so, media uh, system. So, um, so again, you can have your, your devices that don't have a display and, and can't interact with you, interact with you through the other devices you have in the home using all joins. So I'm gonna plug this, I'm gonna put the internet back on here. Okay, so now, um, next I'm gonna show you a, uh, a, health, a healthcare demo. So, this is a, um, a non-impulse oximeter, so it measures your, uh, your pulse and the oxygen levels in your, in your bloodstream. And it's connected via Bluetooth Low Energy to this tablet running TuneNet. And now TuneNet is a, pla a platform from Qualcomm, uh, Qualcomm Health that allows physicians to stay in contact with their patients and interact with their patients. And it securely transmits the data, the health data, in a HIPAA compliant way from the, the patient who's taking the reading to their physician so and their physician can analyze that data, look at that information, so it connects basically the healthcare provider securely to the people. The, so the network came back in and I programmed it to say you're back in the game um, and the lights flashed green, letting me know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simulate the healthcare provider asking the end consumer through the TuneNet platform to take their pulse. So I'm gonna do that just by pushing a button here. Normally this would happen through the cloud, but um, I'm just gonna simulate it. So in, in this case, uh, TuneNet is saying it played a pulse. You heard a sound, and then it's um, it says uh, to tell me to take the pulse. I think that the, the, the um, notification there got overwritten by the one that, that notified it was playing the sound. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and take my pulse now. So I put this device on my finger, and it's going to uh, measure my. When it goes white, it'll uh, successfully measure my blood oxygen level and my pulse. You see my pulse, and then take a look up here. There's my pulse and my SpO2, but it's telling me to please call my doctor. So, um, so what's happened here is it's it's taken a reading, it sent that uh, reading back to my physician through the um, through the TuneNet application in a secure secure fashion, and that, that they've analyzed that information and sent back and said you need to you need to call your doctor. So you can imagine this is um, perhaps you might want to uh, have. Uh, t tell me, tell me to call my doctor. If it's uh, extremely important, critical for me to call my doctor, you want to tell me in as many ways as possible. So, flashing the lights, telling me on my TVs, telling me on my on my smartwatch that I need to to do that is important. So, um, and this device can't tell me that. So it can use the other devices in the room using all join to actually uh, to notify me. Um, we have a similar product here that's also enabled via the TuneNet platform, which is. Um, it, which is called, which is from Impact, and this is a um, a, a, me, a smart medication management uh, device. So this again is another Bluetooth low energy device, and it it knows uh, whether I'm taking my medication or not. Many medications are extremely expensive. If you don't take them on time, then you have to restart the cycle. The medication could go bad. So it's uh, extremely important to remind people to take their medication. So in this case, the TuneNet platform can help with that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the demo. And again, this is simulating the TuneNet system sending a please take your medication message out to the consumer. And the consumer, um, in this case, I'm not going to take my medication. Okay, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do that. So uh, now you would most likely want to progressively warn the consumer. Uh, 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 maybe start with a text message an hour after they're supposed to do it, saying, "Hey, you, you need to take your medications. You you really need to do this." If they don't comply, then maybe. Um, flash the lights or speak a message. So um, so in this case, you'll, he um, you'll hear. I pity the guy who procrastinates. Go take your meds. So in this case, we, we, we programmed uh, this thing to um, speak a message specifically customized to me saying you need to take your medication. And that was again through the, through the TuneNet application connecting into the cloud and the physician and also through the Higgins application, which was uh, programmed to um, Display the message here, flash the lights, and uh, and also speak the message through through the device. 
So the last thing I'll leave you with is um, Qualcomm, we're, doing, we're using the lights in a, as a notification mechanism, and, and this is um, great for, uh, uh, for notifications. It's a number way, another way to ambiently uh, notify people, like you're seeing here. So um, Qualcomm has worked with LifeX, and we have developed, co-developed a module. This is a, 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 a connectivity module based on Wi-Fi that uses, it's all scene certified, so it uses the all join framework. So all the interoperability you saw here from the Holon switch and the, the where uh, these uh, me medical devices, all that interoperability, the router, that can uh, happen using all join and all joins enabled by default on this on this module. So this is helps light bulb manufacturers get to market really rapidly with Wi-Fi Wi-Fi enabled bulbs. We also have a turnkey bulb design based on this module. The, uh, so if you have a, a, a an OEM who's not who's not a light bulb OEM but they want to get in the light bulb connected light bulb business, they can take this design or a design similar to it and go go to market rapidly. So uh, so that's uh, all join and the um, and the technology from the All Alliance. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you.